guess what, right? These people are not coachable. They will just like do whatever they believe is correct and then ending up with the same result, a rejection, and we're not interested in supporting this. So we are not just like a program that you can purchase because you want to. We refuse to take money from people that we don't believe are suitable for what we are doing here to protect them. So in the last couple of years, we have helped a lot, and I mean a lot of people breaking into McKinsey, BCG and Bain. And we've learned a thing or two on that journey. And there are many characteristics and um, criteria why what we are doing is fundamentally different from what you'll find on the market. But one is especially that we are selecting our clients, right? We do screen and make sure we only work with people where we believe they have a chance to break into top strategy consulting. This is also explaining why we are achieving a different success rates as others on the market. And I would like to run you through what we are investigating with our clients in the get to know phase, right? So we want to be sure that these people are really determined to break into MBB or top strategy consulting. So it really needs to be a priority for them. And then also we want to make sure that they will put in the hours and the work because progress is achieved by the individual in a systematic way steered by a pro, a professional, an expert, right? But the legwork still needs to be done by the individuals because we cannot sit there in front of like your interviewer later on and perform instead of you, right? Simply not possible. So it's you that need to put in the legwork, that needs to make things happen, right? That needs to follow our guidance. Next, and that's the next topic, coachability. We are not interested in working with people that uh, believe they already are at a 99% because it's so much harder to tell these people that they are not. And usually they are not because if they would be, they would have already received an offer. And what's the interesting thing here is these are usually especially the candidates that already have like two to three selection processes behind them that were unsuccessful, right? And we do prefer rather to work with a plank sheet um, of experience, a uh, plank sheet of paper here, instead of someone who has done 120 cases and believes he or she knows it already, right? Because the clear answer usually is, no, you don't. Because otherwise, you would have received an offer already, right? So something must be wrong. Something must be missing. And here, to go from, let's say, 80% to 90 or 95% usually is the significantly more painful journey. And we are all up for it, right? So we do this really regularly, but we need to filter out these candidates, these prospects, these potential clients that believe they have already achieved it, right? And they only need to tweak that minor thing here. Because look, guess what, right? These people are not coachable. They will just like do whatever they believe is correct and then ending up with the same result, a rejection, and we're not interested in supporting this, right? So that was the third point. Fourth point, you're going to prioritize this um, preparation, right, in the time when you need to intensify this according to feedback and you can relax a little bit in the time where you have other obligations to adhere to. Then you also need to be able to afford that seniority level of guidance. And here we just have a completely different support model than what you would find on the market, right? We have um, so many more elements and also so much more of an intensive support system in place that it's actually hard to um, wait longer than 24 hours on a working day for the specific and individual answer that you are bringing to us, right? So that's the level of support we're speaking about. And we also speak about a continuous support level and not like isolated coaching sessions where people are essentially repeating the basics, right? Absolutely not a smart didactical move, right? So all of this is what we are testing in the process. And if we are realizing something is off here, right? In terms of, um, ah, may I forget, I forgot one thing, right? So also your profile, Indeed needs to bring a decent track record here so that we um, believe like with our help we can shape it and um, tailor it in a way that it uh, uh, sounds and looks appealing to top strategy consulting companies. So 
if one or even several of these parameters are not given, then it also doesn't make sense here to continue in the get to know process. So we have different phases here. We want to make sure that we are only going through these phases with candidates until that moment in time in, in, in which we know that this can be a fit or not. So we are not just like a program that you can purchase because you want to, right? We refuse to take money from people that we don't believe are suitable for what we are doing here to protect them. And this leads to raging um, potential clients and customers, right? Because this type of rejection, they were not expecting. And um, yeah, therefore it can happen that someone is really disappointed and speaks about um, extremely sad and painful experiences and um, is raging about this, right? And I mean, that will always happen. And it's also okay that this happens. And I do really understand um, the disappointment here that comes with a decision early up on in the process because it is a harsh message, right? And uh, I mean, we might need to train a little bit here how to <laughs> deliver a, a message maybe a bit softer. But in the end, um, it's also important to be authentic and to reflect on someone else's previous achievements and situation in an honest way. Because only that honesty, that level of direct feedback will call out what the biggest issue with your situation are right now, right? At least from our experience. And what you then do with that message is still up to you, right? Or up to the recipient of that message, not to the sender. So if you are seeing some uh, negative comments, right? So feel free to make up your own mind. So from our experience, this is not something um, bad, right? So we were actually quite happy that there is now um, a written proof about our selection process out there. So make up your own mind. And um, for the moment, make sure to uh, like that video if you've learned a thing or two, right? And also to subscribe to the channel if you would like to get further information or on everything around top strategy consulting, recruiting processes. Speak soon.